Retro Rob's help desk. Hey, Rob here, and with me is the Lenovo Flex 3 11 inch tablet slash notebook. It is multi mode. I'll go into that in a little bit, which I think is a bunch of crap. The MSRP on this is $350. Uh, you can usually get it for less. You're going to see it for less during this holiday season. I'm speaking to you in the end of November of 2015. So uh, that's when you'll see it on the shelves. Uh, this is the 4 gig model. It's got 4 gig RAM, 500 gig hard drive. There's a second model of this that's about $100 cheaper. It's around $250 or maybe even as low as $199. Uh, it is a 2 gig version. Now, I'm going to tell you something as of this this time. You should never, ever, ever buy a 2 gig laptop. There's no reason on earth that a laptop in 2015 or probably 2016 when you're watching this should ever be 2 gigs. Do not buy one. You are just asking for it not to do what you want it to do. Look, if you need if you're sitting here and you're going, I'm going to get a touch screen and I'm going to get a 2 gig touch screen laptop no get one without the touch screen that has four gigs don't waste your time uh, you know i hate to say it touch screen is really it's mostly a gimmick it not on a tablet but on this kind of thing this kind of laptop combo it's really just a gimmick so <laughs> i'm saying that i don't hate this device i'm not going to be hating on it but uh I, I just want you to know that if you have a choice here between two gigs and a touch screen I mean between four gigs and a touch screen you take the four gigs you take the more RAM and the more storage and don't the hose with that because you don't really use the touch screen that much on this it's just not a thing all right so rant aside uh, it also has a dual core Celeron processor which is mm, you know passable as mentioned it has a touch screen there we go. I suppose I will quickly go through the multiple modes. I've got photos of it in the multiple quote modes. <laughs> yeah, well, let, let's mention our multiple modes first. There's laptop mode, which is the standard uh, laptop configuration. You can see it here. It's a very attractive laptop. We'll talk about the screen. Uh, stand mode, which I'm showing right now, which is basically flipping the laptop over and setting the keyboard face down on the ground which uh, you can see the possible problems with that now that said it does have a rubberized surface on the top like just a little edge around the top of the keyboard not the keyboard itself but the keyboard uh, platform the uh, deck that allows it to rest comfortably on a table uh, without skidding around so it's actually pretty decent in this mode there is also tent mode uh, make sure that you have the laptop set to be able to flip <laughs> the screen otherwise it's gonna look kinda silly with the screen upside down but here you can see the uh, the screen is indeed flipped and finally there is tablet mode which is arguably the other actual mode uh, in none of these quote modes is it anything more than just moving a hinge around the hinge uh, the hinge rotates fully so you can basically in tablet mode the keyboards facing down uh, the screen is facing up and you're just using the screen to manipulate it now uh, this comes with Windows 8 but of course there's a free upgrade from Windows 8 to Windows 10 you should of course immediately do that before you even touch the thing don't even mess with it just upgrade to Windows 10 because uh, it has a much neater way of supporting the tablet mode in that uh, basically you can use it as a regular Windows 10 laptop when uh, when you're just using it with the keyboard like this and then when you switch over here well wait let me log in a second let me let me just show you this I'm gonna log in there we go. hey type in the password but Okay, so now it's in regular Windows 10 mode, but watch when I flip it and uh, turn it into, there we go. Now it's uh, it looks a lot like Windows 8 when it's like that, but it's made for touchscreen at this point. It's The interface is set for touchscreen, which is really pretty nifty. That works really well in Windows 10, so upgrade yourself to Windows 10 if you get one of these. 
Uh, that's pretty cool. All right, so what was I talking about? I was going to talk about construction, then I will talk about ports and such. So if you don't really care about how it looks, you can skip on a little bit and get to where I'm showing you the ports, where I'll hold it up like this and show you the ports. Uh, general construction, I think it feels really good. It, it does feel solid. It's not too heavy, but it doesn't feel cheap and light. Uh, the deck is actually aluminum. That is not fake. That is actual brushed, blushed. <laughs> it's blushing. Brushed aluminum. Very classy. On the other hand, uh, if you look at the screen, it's impossible not to notice that gigantic bezel. It's huge. My God, look at that bezel on that thing. Somebody's been embezzling. It's yeah, it, it, the bezel's too big. It it actually puts off the look of the of the entire device a little bit. It makes it look uh, cheaper than it generally would, which is too bad. Uh, the other sacrifice of the screen is you'd think if they were going to give me a postage stamp size screen on here, which it's not that small, I'm I'm just overdoing it, but if they were going to give me this size screen, you'd think that they would make it have a great viewing angle. It does not. Uh, you have to really pretty much look directly into it, otherwise the coloring's off. And uh, I, I'm not even kidding. I mean, it really has a very, very shallow angle that you can view it at. You basically got to look at it dead on you know maybe a degree or two off but it really unusual for a laptop in 2015 to uh, have to hold the angle this much uh color wise it's okay i had to adjust it out of the box it seemed a little bit reddish to me and i'm pretty sure i'm right about that because i compared it to my other two laptops and the other two looked pretty good and this one looked really reddish so uh even the the recycle bin looked reddish so i did adjust it but it looks really good now i i do like the screen when i'm looking right at it uh, the keyboard, if you look at it, it is a very flat keyboard. Wait, let's see if I can show you. See how flat it is? And you do feel that when you're typing. And it's not like you get the positive, you get the fake positive clicks that you get out of an Apple keyboard that's this shallow. You're really just thunking the keys. That said, you know what? After a few minutes of typing on it, I really like it. I, <laughs> I like just thunk, 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 thunk. It's really quite nice. Uh, not a bad keyboard at all. Doesn't feel bad. Uh, I wish I could say that for this uh, right here. This, this little guy is, it, it just feels cheap. Uh, you can hear the click, uh, but it feels shallow. It feels cheap. Uh, yeah, the touchpad is not uh, real good. That said, it's responsive. It works okay. I do like the fact that they bothered to put like a chrome edge around it. Looks really nice. Uh, so yeah, fit and, fit and polish is kind of a mixed uh, mixed bag as you would expect from a laptop of this price. Uh, hard drive. I, I did mention earlier that it was a 500 gig hard drive that's on this. It is absolutely not an SSD. Uh, the cheaper model does have an SSD in it, but this one does not. So this is a mechanical hard drive. Uh, 5200 RPM, I believe. So let's talk about what comes on it. Uh, it does come with some basic, I think it's McAfee antivirus, sorry. I, I like totally removed it right away. Uh, it also comes with an amazing amount of circus wear on it. So when you get it, be prepared to clean it up. If you are not a technical person and you are perhaps buying this at Best Buy or something, this is one of the few times I'm going to tell you maybe you should shell out a little bit and have uh, the technician do a tune-up on it and clean up all the crapware on it and tell it and tell them specifically that you want them to clean up all the circus wear. you want it very clean uh, otherwise it's gonna take up a lot of RAM I can't even imagine how this thing the the 2 gig version would even run with all the crap that was on here but anyway cleaned it up and now it runs really fast uh, application wise hmm yeah it runs most applications now I do a whole lot of indie gaming so it it ran my indie games just great I wouldn't be running Battlefield on this, though. Uh, I don't think I would be planning to do that anytime soon. But for most indie games, it's fine. Casual browsing, it's quite good. Uh, got rid of the Edge browser right away. Well, you didn't get rid of it. You can't really. But I uh, switched over to uh, Chrome browser. It works really well. Uh, I've had absolutely no lockups with it. It doesn't get excessively warm. 
It stays quite cool even when I'm uh, stressing it, so that's really nice. And it's very quiet. I even the you very seldom hear the hard drive at all, so it is a very quiet little device. And you know that's kind of rare for a mechanical hard drive. So yeah, that is pretty nice. Port wise, well, it's actually not too bad. Well, uh, let's go over the ports. Uh, on this side, if you look right here, here's the power button. It's uh, very nice that it has a little light on there to indicate that it's on. That doesn't always happen in uh, low-end machines like this. Here's the bad part. Sometimes you hit it accidentally. <laughs> in fact, I've hit it about four times so far. On my desk, just bump into something, and boom. Yeah, I've just turned my laptop off. Uh, let's see. USB ports. There's two on this side. There is a third on the other side making it totally acceptable not bad at all really uh, this is one of those always on ports if you need to charge things with it there is an HDMI port on the back it's not a mini one it's an actual HDMI port that's really nice there is also another thing that you don't generally see on very inexpensive laptops is an actual Ethernet port this is a real honest to goodness Ethernet port you need you notice they can they can talk to you Hi, how are you? Really cool. Uh, nice addition. On the other side, this is the power cable connector. Interesting story about the power connector. It is really weird looking. And, man, I don't think I... Yeah, I did bring it. Okay, this is what the power connector looks like. It's this square thing. I'm used to seeing a barrel. Uh, and it just plugs in there, and it's really quite nice. And uh, also, you can plug it in either way. There's no wrong way to do it. So you can just uh, plug it in there and charge away. Not bad. Also, there is SD card reader. This is really nice. There's a little rocker switch for volume here. And right here is a button that locks the screen position. So if you do not want your laptop to flip the screen when you're in tent mode and you want to look at things upside down, you can lock it in position and it won't flip. So that is also very nice. You don't have to do it in software. It's just sitting there on a button on the machine itself. So quite nice. Um, battery life, I have found that I could easily get six hours out of it, even when I'm beating on it. I'm trying to remember what they claim. I thought they claimed 10 hours on it, but I, in actual use, I've been able to get between five and six hours from it. So that's actually good. Again, I, you know, this is a $300 device. Really quite nice. All right, so I suppose you're wondering, hey, what's the verdict? What do I think of this laptop? What do I think of the Flex 3? Uh, and I'll tell you that in general, I like it. I think it's an attractive looking laptop, which is kind of unusual in its price range. Uh, I think it has enough ports. It has <laughs> three USB ports on it. Uh, the processor is okay. Memory, quite good for the budget range, or at least acceptable for the budget range, and it has a pretty large hard drive for this range. I think it is great for work, light duty home. Uh, it's not going to be a gaming machine by any stretch of the imagination, but you know, you can play a little bit on it. Uh, again, the only thing you really have to get past is the screen. If you can get by this big bezel and the rather shallow viewing angle, I think you'll enjoy this laptop quite a bit. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Bye.